are here today at the Pool HQ with Marie Kondo, the tidying sensation who has gone global with her two books, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying and Spark Joy. So today, Marie has kindly come into the offices to help us sort out our very untidy office and share her secrets to how we can lead a tidy life. Marie, hello. hello. Thank you very, very much for coming in. Um, so you're in the pool offices, the Pool HQ, welcome. Your method, the KonMari method, is what you live by and what you, you teach to people and this is what has got so big um, over, over the globe, everyone's talking about it. But what is the KonMari method? Can you just explain to us exactly what it is? Well, in a nutshell, I'd say my uh, tidying is not just about tidying physically, but tidying up your life, yourself, by facing yourself. And do you believe that anybody can be tidy? Yes, anybody can, provided that they have the commitment. OK, so let's put this to the test. My desk is an absolute mess, so can you show me how I can keep it tidy. Can you take me through the steps? Yes, very exciting. Marie, welcome to my desk. Apologies in advance. Um, right, so what is step one? Step one would be to think about what is your ideal lifestyle? So I want my desk to be efficient and clean and I want to get a lot of headspace, but I also work quite creatively. So I need a lot of bits around me. The so order will be to start with books, papers and uh, miscellaneous things and then our sentimental goods. Okay, so we're going to start with all the books. So let's collect, pick up all the books that you've got in your work space into one spot. Okay, from this pile or two piles, let's pick the ones that spark joy by touching them. Okay. And give it to me. So can you explain what does spark joy mean? When it comes to spark joy at home, okay, you can simply ask yourself that does this spark joy? And in principle it is the same, but in terms of work, so does this contribute? to make you feel good about yourself so you can do uh, your job well? No. Yeah. <laughs> so just before you discard it, mm -hmm. uh, please thank. Thank you. Thank you for until now that you served me or supported me. Okay, thank you for serving me, thank you. So this pile I'm touching now is for discarding. Okay, let's start looking at paper. So we'll put them over here. Okay, we've done books, we've done papers. What's next? Next will be miscellaneous. Bits that I've hoarded over my months of sitting at this desk. So now we've got all the uh, miscellaneous things on the, this yeah. desk. So let's start um, I'm selecting the ones that spark joy. Um, so these don't, so thank you. <laughs> um, and these definitely do, so they can stay there. Now with things like um, cards and little sentimental things, what do I do then? This, this is a different category, isn't it? So unless you know it um, on the spot, uh, just keep it for later. And Marie, is there a secret to successful storage? What's important here is not to pile up, but on a vertical way. So is it important that we see all of the items? Scarf. So that you can have a very good overview of everything that you have, what's on the desk. 
So we can place these uh, sentimental items where you want mm -hmm. on the desk. Okay, Marie, so we have learnt how to declutter, how to ask ourselves if something sparked joy. We've thanked objects for helping us and we've bin them and we've put everything back in its rightful place. And now I have the world's most tidy desk. So Marie, thank you very, very much for sharing your tidying secrets with us. Thank you.